They say if you pour liquid nitrogen on a lock, you can smash it open with a hammer. To put that to the test, Tori started with a small padlock. He wedged in a crowbar and hammered down. In just four seconds, the lock snapped apart. Then he froze another padlock in liquid nitrogen for five minutes and hit it the same way. This time, it shattered with a single blow. But small padlocks are pretty easy to break even without the nitrogen. So Tori moved on to something tougher. The team built a door and installed a regular household lock. In the control test, it took Tori five and a half minutes and plenty of tools to force it open. After freezing the lock in liquid nitrogen for five minutes, though, he cracked it in just one minute. Clearly, the nitrogen weakened the metal, but the experiment wasn't over. Tori pulled out a huge padlock padlock and went at it with only a hammer. Five minutes later, the lock was still solid, but the door handle had broken off. Once that same lock was frozen in liquid nitrogen, it took just five hits before it shattered. So, the tests showed that liquid nitrogen really does make locks easier to break. But in reality, it's not very practical. Liquid nitrogen is hard to carry, requires specialized safety gear, and usually more than one person to handle. And just to be clear, this isn't a break-in tutorial. It's just a demonstration.